Okay, if a 1 ohm resistor is connected in series with cell D, uh, what is the new balance length of AP? Ah, okay, so now for question B, it has a 1 ohm resistor series with the cell D. Yeah? So there is another resistor over here. Ah, in series, I uh, can say this as resistor 1 ohm. Ah, in series with cell D. So actually this resistor 1 ohm is also in series with resistor AB. Ah, do you notice that? Yeah, it's actually in series because it has a uh, one leg connected. Uh, it's also, uh, you know, this is the resistant AB. This whole thing. This whole thing. This whole thing is resistant AB. And uh, resistor, another one ohm resistor, actually in series. Uh, yeah, in, uh, we can say in series. This resistor 1 ohm is in series with resistor AB. Uh, so, uh, because it has only one leg connection, yeah? One leg connection, yeah? One leg of resistor connect with uh, resistor AB. You see that? Uh, one leg connection. So, the other leg connect to battery. Uh, same goes to resistor AB, another leg connect to battery. So, resistor 1 ohm and resistor AB is actually in series, yeah? Because only one leg connection. Uh, maybe uh, I can redraw this diagram. Okay, I re redraw this diagram to show that this resistor 1 ohm and resistor AB, the resistor AB is 5 ohm. Lah, huh? This resistor AB is 5 ohm. Uh, is this resistor AB is actually a wire, a potential meter wire. Yeah? Uh, it, it, this resistor AB is actually in series with the resistor 1 ohm. So maybe I can redraw the diagram and show you. Uh, like this. Uh, and then uh, this way. Uh, this is resistor AB. It's just a little bit long, but it's still resistor. You understand? Uh, and then another resistor over here. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, this is resistor, the 1 ohm resistor. And then, uh, this is the wire AB. Yeah, resistor meet, resistant meter. Uh, yeah, this is resistant AB, which is uh, 5 ohm. Okay, 5 ohm. And, uh, and then we have, um, okay, what, uh, P... Uh, I can say there is another circuit below here. So another circuit below here. Galvanometer. Oops. Yeah. Connect to P. Yeah. Uh, and then, okay. Let me label. This is ED, uh, which is a 2 volt. And this is EX, which is a 1.5 volt. Okay. Current below here is zero. Yeah, no current flow. Ah, can you see that this resistor AB, the wire, the uh, the potential wire AB is actually in series with resistor one ohm. Ah, okay. So now, uh, what I can say is um, uh, uh, the voltage, the voltage AB. Okay, the voltage, this is the voltage AB, and here there is another voltage. Uh, put this as voltage, uh, put it as voltage V1. Uh, okay. Okay, what I can say, uh, last time, last time here, the voltage AB is uh, exactly ED. Okay, uh, exactly ED. Exactly the, exactly... Uh, this voltage AB, the voltage across the wire AB, is exactly the EMF because it's parallel. Understand? Last time, it, when there is no resistance 1 ohm, when there is no resistance 1 ohm, uh, the wire AB, voltage AB, is actually ED. Uh, is, the voltage AB is actually 2 volt. 
yeah two volt but right now right now uh the voltage a b yeah this is for question b yeah uh this last time this one is for question a uh, this one question b uh now voltage a b is no longer no longer ed uh it is it is no longer two volt you understand voltage a b now is no longer two volt uh, because why because now we have another resistor one ohm another resistor one ohm yeah connected in series with the the wire ab so there is two resistor already uh, last time is only one resistor only one resistor so it has the all the voltage from two volt uh, from emf ed uh, but now you have this external resistor so this voltage ab is no longer is no longer two volt no longer two volt uh, because why because some of the voltage has go to v1 uh, it has go to v1 so what i can say is um, now the situation is this yeah the ed is actually now is vab plus v1 ah i mean uh, ah vab vab plus v1 is two volt okay but vab itself is not two volt anymore okay this one you must know okay uh so uh so now the thing is uh, i want to find the uh length the new balance length uh new balance length ap uh, i want to find the new new balance length ap okay the new balance length maybe uh, prime uh, what is the new balance length ap okay so that means i want to find this length lah. i want to find this length uh, but uh, I need the, you know, I need, uh, okay, this one, uh, how to say? Okay, so uh, from here we can see uh, because uh, there's two resistors, resistor AB and uh, resistor 1 ohm, okay, 5 ohm and 1 ohm. So now um, to get the, you know, to get the, length the new length new balance length ap to get the new length ap i need to find the the vab yeah because vab now is no more two volt last time is two volt because there's no no external resistor one ohm uh, last time we can directly get the vab as two volt now vab vab is no longer two volt so i need to get the vab uh, i need to get the value of vab first before i can get the the balance length AP. Okay. Uh, so okay, let's get the VAB. V VAB is no longer EMFD to volt. Yeah, it's no longer, it's less than that. It's less than that because some of the voltage has go to V1. Okay. So now let's let's find out what is the you know, let's find out what is the VAB. Yeah, find out what is VAB. So how to how to find the VAB? You can use the uh, you know, you can use the potential divider. You still can that use back the potential divider uh, to find potential divider to find the voltage VAB. Okay, VAB. So how how to do it? Yeah. So maybe you can put it like this this way. Uh, I got the resistance AB five ohm and external resistor one ohm. Okay. So uh, using this uh, resistance value, I can get the voltage AB, isn't it? Uh, using the potential divider principle, this one, understand? Okay. So like this. Uh, so I want to find VAB, isn't it? VAB. So uh, because VAB now is no more two volt, it's less than two volt. Yeah. It is uh, actually less than two volt. Yeah. Because some of the voltage has go to V1. Yeah, because got series. Uh, last time no external resistor. Uh, now you have external resistor. So it's less than two volt already. It's no longer two volt. It's less than two volt. So to find that, I need to find the potential divider. So I use the resistance AB over the total resistance. Uh, total resistance is resistance AB plus the external resistor already, the one ohm, isn't it? Uh, because in series. It, Resistor AB and resistor 1 ohm actually is in series. In series. That's why we, the resistance plus plus. Okay. Uh, multiply by the total voltage. Total, the total voltage is ED, isn't it? The total voltage is ED. 
uh, yeah, ED, uh, the total voltage. Okay, so, um, okay, now this one is 5 ohm divided by uh, 5 plus 1. So, ED is 2, 2 volt, right? 2 volt. So, okay, so what is the voltage for this one? Okay. So 5 over 6 times uh, 2, uh, so uh, 5 over 6 times 2, so I got uh, uh, 5 over 3, uh, 5 over 3 volt, ah, so or it is, uh, is 1.67 volt, uh, okay, you see it's less than 2 volt, you see that, it is uh, less than 2 volt. Uh, maybe you can put this as different color yeah uh, okay so you see it's uh, 1.67 volt is less than 2 volt why because uh, got uh, zero so the we can say the v1 has take up maybe 0 0.33 volt uh, yeah maybe, uh, yeah 0 0.33 volt has gone to v1 uh, gone to v1 you can put this uh, 0 0.33 volt here and this is 1.67 volt. Understand? Ah, uh, yeah. So my three volt has gone to V1 by one ohm, and 1.67 volt is for VAB. Uh, VAB, the new VAB. So now, uh, I got a VAB already. I can find the V. Uh, I can find the length AP already. Yeah. Uh, here. Uh, here. The this one is still voltage AP. Okay, voltage AP. Uh, okay, voltage AP, uh, which is uh, still EX. Yeah, I can say uh, voltage AP is still EX. Yeah, voltage AP. Uh, let me. Okay, voltage AP is still EX because it's parallel to it. Yeah. Uh, is uh, EX which is uh, 1.5 volt so I can find the length already the length uh, I can find the length AP uh, I can find the length AP so let's do it yeah let's do it uh, length AP so I do it over here uh, okay uh, length AP oops okay let me do it over here length AP over length AB equal to voltage AP over voltage AB ah yeah uh, length AP length AP with length AB uh, equal to voltage AP over voltage AB yeah as I said the 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 you know length AP is very short length so it has a smaller voltage yeah uh, short length has a smaller voltage uh, compared to length AB, length AB is a longer length, 100 cm, uh, 100, 100 cm, and VAB is a uh, higher voltage. Ah, see that? Uh, higher voltage has longer lengths, uh, smaller voltage has shorter length. Uh, that's what, it's, what it means. Yeah? Uh, okay. Uh, okay, let me write it down. And then uh, I can say that the voltage AP, voltage AP is still EX, yeah, voltage AP is still EX, uh, but voltage AB, voltage AB is no longer ED, yeah? uh, last time is ED, last time is equal to ED, see that, last time VAB equal to ED, now is uh, no longer ED, yeah? now is, you cannot write, oh, VAB is still ED, yeah? uh, it is wrong, ah. Huh? It is wrong. It's no longer ED because now we have external resistor here. So it's uh, VAB is uh, no longer how to say uh, it's no longer ED. Uh, it's no longer ED. Uh, so it is less than ED. Uh, less than ED. Uh, I calculated VAB just now is uh, one point six seven volt. Uh, one point six seven. So instead of uh, ED, you should write here. Uh, now it's just one point six seven. It's no longer. Uh, it's no longer uh, two volt. Okay, it's just one point six seven. 
Ah, so I can uh, find the value of length AP already. Yeah, length AP. So, all right, let's continue length AP over the length AB, 100 cm. Okay, and then uh, VAP, v, uh, VAP is EX, of course, it's 1.5 volt. Uh, and then VAB, VAB now is not 2 volt anymore, it's just 1.67 volt. We got from the potential. You know this is the potential divider principle. But then we yeah we got from potential divider principle divide the voltage divide the voltage for RAB five ohm and divide the voltage for uh resistance one ohm you know divide the voltage according to the resistance value five ohm and one ohm. So now VAB is just one point six seven volt. It's no longer two volt. So it's just uh, one point six seven. Okay. 1.67 volt. Ah, so you see the difference or between question A and question B, the different the question difference between the question A and question B is just the VAB value. Last time the VAB value here is ED, ED because there's no resistance one ohm. Yeah, it's ED. But now this uh, resistance AB is uh no longer ED. Yeah, it's not. Uh, it's not. ED anymore. Uh, it's not ED anymore. Yeah, it's one point six seven volt. Uh, yeah, Th that's a difference only. Uh, it's one point six seven. So okay. So uh, the length AP also will be different length. Okay. So I want to calculate the new length. Uh, the new length AP. Okay. Now let's calculate uh, one point five divided by one point six seven. Uh, multiply by 100 so I got um, is 89.82 volt hey uh, is that correct uh, 89.82 uh, maybe uh, a bit different huh? a bit different why uh, maybe it's because uh, let me see yeah huh? Uh, maybe okay. I shouldn't use a one point six seven. Maybe I should use five over three volt. Yeah, maybe uh, it's a bit different value from the answer. Maybe okay. Let me let me never mind. Uh, cell D. Yeah, cell D. All right. Let me check. Okay. Uh, by the way, I got this value. I got this value. Uh, eighty nine point eight two is almost similar to the answer given zero point nine one. Probably because I round up uh, the 503 become uh, 1.67. Actually, I shouldn't round up. Let me, uh, okay, maybe let me attain, uh, retain the value. Let me do this question again. Maybe length AP over 100 cm. Uh, e, uh, this is actually in centimeter, not volt. Huh? <laughs> so sorry. Okay, and then uh, this is a 1.5 volt. Okay, instead of putting instead of putting 1.67, 1.67, I I this is a round up value. I put 503 volt. Yeah, 503 volt, 503 volt, uh, and maybe I can get a more accurate answer. I uh, maybe can get a more accurate answer. So this one become 1.5 multiply uh, 3 over 5 and multiply uh, 100 uh, centimeter. Okay. Uh, yep, I think should be okay here. Yeah? Let me calculate 1.5 multiply uh, 3 over 5 uh, and then multiply 100 cm. So I get 90. I get 90 centimeter, which is which is um, uh, 0 0.9 meter. Yeah, so my answer is 0 0.9 meter. So it's more accurate. Yeah, 0 0.91. Yeah. Uh, so maybe they round up the value. I don't know somewhere lah. So okay. So I this should be the answer. All right. Uh, okay. So the answer is correct. Okay. So I hope you understand the concept here. Yeah, the concept here. Uh, okay. So that's all for this uh, video. Bye bye.